not feeling well? Did you know that the emergency room isn't always the best place to go? Stick around as we explore four different options available to you and the cheapest one. You don't want to miss an important tip I have at the end of this video for the parents. Let's get right to it. Option one, the emergency department. The emergency department or emergency room exists for exactly that, emergencies. What qualifies as an emergency? Well, I'm glad you asked. Heart attacks, chest pain, difficulty breathing, pain traveling to your shoulder, to your neck, to your jaw, trauma, major accidents, broken bones, deep cuts, bad burns, difficulty breathing. If you're having an asthma attack, COPD, which is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, mental illnesses, thoughts of hurting yourself or others, or someone else that you know that is thinking about hurting themselves or others. If you or someone you know is experiencing one of these emergencies, go to the closest emergency department near you or call 911 and an ambulance will come and get you and take you to the nearest hospital. Now, if you choose to go to the emergency department, but you're not having a true emergency, you're gonna have a long wait ahead of you. Why is that? Because emergencies are the priority. Anything that is an emergency will take priority over what you have. It's not a first come, first serve kind of system. The ED is also the most expensive of the four options we are exploring today. However, it does have doctors available 24 seven. Option number two, urgent care. Now, unlike the emergency room, urgent care is not open 24 seven. So make sure to check their hours of operation. What qualifies as an urgent care visit? Pretty much anything that's not an emergency or life-threatening, but it's still serious enough that you can't wait until your doctor has an opening for you. That list includes sprains, cuts, rashes, allergies, allergic reactions, infections, sore throat, sinus infection, ear infection, skin infection, COVID or flu symptoms, minor burns, these all qualify as reasons to go to an urgent care. Urgent care facilities usually have at least one doctor. They can prescribe medications if necessary, and they're cheaper than the emergency room. Option three, minute clinics. Minute clinics are basically a step down from urgent care. Like urgent care, you can show up without making an appointment, but they are not open 24 seven, so make sure to check their hours of operation. What qualifies for a minute clinic visit? needing a vaccine or immunizations, needing to be screened for sexually transmitted diseases, STDs, infections in your throat, sinus, ear, skin, pain, and other skin care like rashes or minor cuts. Minute clinics are usually run by nurse practitioners and nurses. They can prescribe medications if needed, and you guessed it, they're cheaper than the urgent care. Option number four, the doctor's office. The doctor's office is where you have established care with a physician or a nurse practitioner. They are your primary care provider or PCP. Appointments do need to be made ahead of time and sometimes they're not available for a few months. However, most doctor's offices, if not all, have the option where you can talk to an advice nurse. They will help guide you to the best option for your health care, whether that's making an appointment, being sent to the emergency room or urgent care, or trying some home remedies and calling back in a few days. So what qualifies for a doctor's office visit? Checkups for your health, follow-up visits, prescription refills, referral for other healthcare professional, vaccines, immunizations, and any and all other healthcare concerns. Doctor's offices have advice nurses available on the phone during office hours. They also have virtual either on screen or on the phone appointments with doctors, and they are your cheapest option. Now here's my big tip for all the parents out there. If you have children, especially young children, the rules are different. It's best to take small children to their own doctors if possible. Adult hospitals aren't always best equipped to take care of children. Most pediatricians will see children in their office the same day if they're having urgent care needs or if they're truly sick. If your child is sick, call the pediatrician's office and speak to the advice nurse. He or she will ask you questions about your child's symptoms 
and will guide you on what's best for your child's care. I do hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Nurse Lana sending love to all you mamas. Thank you.